attend all the conventions, create art and music too, discuss the show, talk on forums, everything that these dudes do. No, we're not bros, but we're bronies. Though some prefer Pegasisters. And we also are creatives, moderates, and even hipsters. Well, there you have it. All the bronies. Any pony else I missed? Now, if it's all the same to you, class dismissed. What's up? Welcome to a... Uh... Perfect! You arrived just in time! Twilight? What the hey is going on? Oh, nothing. Just a little ritual. Watch as we offer Rainbow Dash to the Sun God. Wait, what? We are playing a mod that apparently you guys love to death. Alex Rambler talks very good about it. Equagishti Bishta, fucking Brony said war some shit. I don't fucking know. Let's check that out for three hours, man. I don't know what is gonna happen here. I prepared everything. Like you sub it. What the fuck? Jeez. Je Jesus, man. What the fuck are these pictures? Someone took this very serious. You guys said everybody says this mod is actually really good. Like everybody's memeing uh bronies and uh, my little pony and whatever. I never seen a single episode. What the fuck, man? But this is supposed to be a crazy fucking good mod. It's right here. There we go. Look at uh, uh, whatever the fuck that means. Um, Jesus Christ, we're gonna check this out today. Whoever makes this mod, they're really updating it a shit ton in the shadows of the mountain. Play alone, play with friend. Stallion Grot? What? Holy fuck, man, what's happening? Jesus, the River Republic. Okay, pressing this button is gonna be crazy. Yo, what the fuck? So this is the world of the bronies? Changeling lands, kingdom of Olenia. Polar bear communities. Holy fuck, there's a polar bear. You know what I think about the brony community? These people give a fuck about their lore. If people, when you are a brony, they give a shit, man. They really give a fuck. Princess Mi Amore Cadenza. Dude, she has a fucking biography, man. Jesus Christ. You know what the weird thing is about all of this? There's probably porn about all these characters, man. So where is... Uh, Ray, is, is, I know one brony, like Star Dash or something. What the fuck am I looking at? I should have smoked the blunt before this. What the fuck is this? The Dread League. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, oh. Rosa Maledicta. Rosa Benedicta is one of many necromancers who are struggling for control over the fractured nation, which is the Dread League. Necromancer Council. Whoa, I like this. But then someone says the West is canon. Do what you want. I should do it. I don't listen to chat. I'm playing the fucking necromancers. Here we fucking go, man. Iron pony mode. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck is this, man? This is gonna be the. Dude, if you have any drugs stash drop on this Sunday, take him right now, chat. Take all the drugs you have right now. You're gonna enjoy this. The Dread League is little more than a collection of necromancers who live on the fringes of society. They have little industry or technology, save ancient magic and outdated factories. Officially, the lands of the Dread League are owned by the Arcturian Order and have been for centuries. The Knights, however, know better. After the fall of the Undead Empire, the Dread League endures on the fringes of society. The ancient dark magic of the world will always tempt the curious, as they have now. An evil unknown calling has brought together necromancers from across the globe to the very spot where the Empire of Undeath was defeated long ago, the Frozen North. There, they gather to form the Necromancers Council for the time is right to choose a leader to guide them on the path to world conquest once again. Dude, there, there's so much information! Development and scientific development, I just categorize F uh, Okay, whatever, man. Jesus Christ, what? Mage hold. 
Skeleton soldiers. There's even fucking ponies, man. <laughs> Pony power. <laughs> I have one research and minus 90 research speed. Dude, that's not good. Dude, I can't research jack shit. The magical technologies. Well, I can't research anything. Don't tell me they have actually 3D models. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus. Okay, my nation does not look so good, does it? The Dread Council's decision. Send the ghouls to the schools. <laughs> Plus 50 research. Here we go. Matrix adds five crystals and mage hold you gain the national spirit ghoul run education program which grants plus 50 research speed the cold stream summit what? dude whoever made this put so much work in it i am confused i'm getting five crystals so probably the game wants me to do magic equipment i mean what am i producing primitive weapons i can't do anything i like how fucking basic this is man i really love that you don't have to learn much you can just get in i love that very much friendship games the annual celebration of the friendship games in crystal city have just come to a close with princess celestria herself holding a moving speech about friendship and its importance for all of pony kind it's about us guys not my concern though i want to bring death to everybody i need better music brony music oh this is a bad idea isn't it the brony music art archive this is, oh god, this has 50 million views, man. <laughs> what am I stumbling in here? What is this scene? The Dread Council's decision. The time has come once again to choose a leader for the current Dread League. Rosa Maladicta is the most promising candidate for this position. She has great ambition that matches her proficiency in dog magic. Truly, she will be the leader of the Dread League. V. Coloni becomes the Prime Minister. Look at the picture! An intense week of backroom meetings between the king and B. Coloni has finally produced a result. The king spoke to a large crowd in Carton, announcing Giulio B. Coloni, leader of the far-right PNF, as Wing Barty's new... I'm so confused, man. Is that... That's Mussolini? Bro, I felt like I just fucking... You know, man? I'm like Chaos and Warhammer? I like that. Well, let's go to the west and kill everyone. Let's destroy the entire Brony universe, man. And establish some alpha maleism in this shit. I'm, I shouldn't make any. Oh, what the fuck? I, I, is that Sylvana's Windrunner? What? Sylvana's motherfucking Windrunner. I got my general. I mean, fuck this general. I mean, she's actually amazing. Sylvana's fucking Windrunner, man. I play World of Warcraft all day. I'm, I'm simping for her, but I gotta take Skellionor. Look at these stats, man. I, f I feel like I have a fever dream. This is, I feel like I have a fever. The new Daring Doe book. After many months of anticipation, AK Jerling, that's JK Rowling, has finally released Daring Doe and the Changeling Spectre, a thrilling espionage action thriller. I don't know. Why are we doing this? I don't know, because life itself is fucking ridiculous. Welcome, my queen. The Dread Council is the place where all the major factions come together and deliberate over the future, or attempt to settle disputes in a more civil manner. The only two factions you should know about are the Society of Bones and the Coven of Blood. Sadly, when the Coven and society enters the same room, egos clash. The Society of Bones is, a large, is largely a collection of necromancers, with a small group of ancient liches commanding the most respect and power amongst them. The Society relies on horde and swarm tactics in times of war, in hopes to simply overrun the enemy. I'm not a fan, I don't like that. On the other side, we have the vampires of the Coven of Blood, and the big titty Resident Evil Girls, the oldest faction. They often consider themselves the superior beings and can be quite arrogant. The Coven of Blood has a superior army compared to the society, being comprised mainly of frauds and vampires themselves. However, since it is very difficult to produce another living vampire and the frauds that they take for themselves, the Coven cannot feel the large army as swiftly as a society of bones. They may hit hard and fast, but losing one of their own can send us back for months. My dear zombie lords, what is your decision? We have to make a poll for this epic pony stream. A few moments later. Okay, the Coven of Blood won. The Coven of Blood. Minus 70 population, but you get 12 crystals. So I'm more like a quality or quantity guy. The Coven of Blood is coming. And the ultimate goal of Tommy K to destroy the pony world once and for all is starting. And soon, no more brony cons will be held. And no more funny cringe videos will be on YouTube. The leader of the coven looked directly at you, her mouth curling into a faint smile. We are delighted that you made the right choice. Come, follow me. I'll show you our ways, my queen. The leader spoke, motioning for you to follow her through the doors behind her. 
Behind the doors lie the long corridor lined with mosaics and notable figures from the ancient Red Empire. The history behind those having long been lost to the annals of time, the final details having faded in old paint. Now I shall do the rest, she uttered, placing her hoof over yours. Sanguris and sanguine, omnis erit conspicuum, she spoke immediately. Shut the fuck up. The room began to darken. Pain struck your hoof, ah, and you felt a slight tickle of warm blood. And like it had life of its own, began to cover the etchings of the pedestal. The room adopted a sanguine glow and started to emit a hum. One that drilled straight into your head. It left as quickly as it came, the room no longer as dark as it had been. Welcome to the coven of blood, my Corrine Rosa. I have much to show you. Oh, this is fucking epic, man. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Mortals have a place below us vampires. Those that don't have the privilege of becoming our feeding frauds shall be put to use in our factories. Be it so feed the vampires have working there. Ba ba ba. One mil. I will order my zombies. Actually, there's a pony symbol here. To man the lines. All living ponies on this planet shall soon be slaves of the vampire lords. Uh, this stuff feels like World of Plague, World of Warcraft. I'm actually making sentient livestock that I can eat. I don't know if this is all meant serious or whoever mo made this is the most funny dude ever. And it's the biggest meme ever. Plus 10% division attack. Here we go, man. I got my loading guns. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a huge warp. The changelings and Olenia. Dude, wasn't there a guy? Dude, there's a this is a true story. I think there's a guy who cosplayed as this guy in the forest and got shot by a hunter. Does someone have a link? Can someone please Google that? I think that's the truth. A guy dressed up like this guy, running through the forest, acting like he's a deer and he got shot by a hunter. It's a true story. You can't make the fucking planet up that we live on, man. I thought I have to do vampires. So, should you do 20 with? How, how does this game work? I guess 19.5. I don't know the battle with here. Let's go to... Another 100% research? I'm just building up here, man. Building, building, building. 20 whiff is recommended because of mem- Okay, okay, I'll listen to you. So 19.5. A long day in Weeter. I'm not gonna read all the shit. I just wanna kill the whole brony world, man. Thing I wanna say here, man. The changelings took the polar beers. Dude, someone needs to fuck these changelings up. Jesus Christ. Falcor surrenders to ring body. Dude, these changelings are gonna take over the world, man. But I wanna be the real killer, man. What's up? Sanguis Mortalis. The time has come at last, Rosa Maledicta. You have consolidated your power and reformed the Dread League into a nation to be rightfully feared. However, tradition dictates that you must take the mantle of the Scarlet Queen to be seen as a true leader amongst the Coven. To achieve this, you need to recover the fabled Chalice of Blood, which has been lost for countless centuries. What the fuck? In order to solidify her rule as Queen of the Dead, Rosa Maledicta must embark on a quest to find an ancient unholy artifact the Chalice of Blood. What's a chalice? Isn't that like a necklace or some shit? I don't know. Rosa Maledicta and her undead frauds traveled long into the night, finally coming upon an ancient set of ruins of the old Dread Empire. The north was cold and Rosa had lost a few of her necromancers to the frozen hazardous conditions. Ugh. She cursed them for being weak fools. <laughs> I like that. Upon examination of her magic, Rosa found that it was in fact a spirit. There is but one surety. One purpose, one peace, one outcome. What is it that I speak about? The duo whispers to the group. But I will think in the Lord they mean death. But maybe they're memeing me because this entire fucking universe is a meme. Fuck! You can't abandon taxes, just look at every major company in the world, man. They're all, they're not paying their taxes. It's death, man. The door chuckles in amusement. Very good, you understand. The only truth in life is death. Kinda right if you think about it. The cycle must be broken so that we may ascend to better things than this. With that, it parted and opened for Rosa, leaving the mare a little shocked. Oh yes, this was it. The fabled chalice of blood was hers for the taking. There was little time to waste. Rosa put all thoughts of caution out of her head and smiled. Yes, this is my moment. Chalice, I claim your power. It is mine by right. Now give me the power to become the almighty queen of death. More power. Oceans of blood lie before you. Oh, fuck. This is fucking mental. I'm like the Night King here. The home of the Coven was once again around her. The energy of the chalice runs deep within me. We must get to work while it lasts. 
Rosa Maledicta commanded to the frauds and the vampires present there, eager to embrace her future. Rosa watched as the vampire cut just above her forehoof and drained some of the blood into a bowl. Drink this, the last thing you need, the blood of another vampire. And with that, she moved away from Rosa Maledicta and towards a circular seat coughed into the floor and gestured to the large circular pedestal. Drink my blood there, only then this ritual will work. As Rosa drank from the bowl, the coven mare insane Meon sanguium proalinum. And the room flared to life, blood and energy flowing into Rosa from an unknown source in the room. The following moment saw the vampiric magic die down, revealing that the other coven mare was lying there dying. She took one look at Rosa Maledicta and smiled. You look so young and beautiful, my friend. My death is worth it just to gaze upon you. Those were her last words before her eyes closed for the last time, her body truly motionless. Conjuring a mirror, Rosa Maledicta observed her features with a pleasant smile. This world will tremble before her as she felt more alive than ever. Ten stability, one research slot. The Queen of Blood plus 20% attack. Oh, I look different now! <laughs> <In the> <laughs> I'm legit a vampire queen now. Oh, this is the weirdest shit. I love this. Okay, I have war plans now. Try diplomacy. We are not limited to just sending waves of our mindless minions across the border directly. We can perhaps use some more subtle methods. She has sent a courier to the Octorian Order to arrange a meeting to discuss peace. Of course, this is simply a ruse. Perhaps we can corrupt them. Dude, I'm like, I'm corrupting them? Let's corrupt them. I need 100 PP. Here we go. I'm gonna try to corrupt them. Come with me, young one. I'm the big titty vampire lady from Resident Evil 8, and you will let me seduce you. In the darkest underground of Magehold, the plan is brewing. The villainous vampire queen is plotting a grand scheme to destroy the meddling holy order of Octurius once and for all. This time she plans not to use sword, nor gun, nor obscure magical artifacts. Instead, she intends to use her seductive vampiric body to, and wit to win over. There has to be fucking a brony porn about this. She now only needs to choose her opening wound. I shall woo their leader personally. I shall make overtures of peace and use their rejection to break them. I'm seducing the leader. I see a lot of ones. This is not the way, Rosa. The words of the leader of the Holy Order cut through the air of the room. Rosa is taken aback, possibly even angry. The Grand Master continues, calling Rosa's action evil, and then explains in great detail on multiple levels why that is so. Then he switches tracks, speaking of the righteousness of his cause and going into great detail about why that is so. It is good, he says, to do good. You can feel this too, Rosa. Join the light side of this conflict and you shall truly be free. Rosa is given space to respond. I don't want to be safe. It's too late for me. Seduce him. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm training. The dark crusade starts. Oh, God, I'm totally not trained. No, I have actually full. Oh, God. Oh, I'm running through. <gasps> the dark crusade has started. The vampire hordes. Holy fuck, man. The zombie hordes are going in, baby. Kill them all. Leave no one alive. For I am the vampire queen. I literally feel like playing Munchstein here in uh, Warhammer, the Great War. The Changeling Queendom has officially announced that a state of war between Equestria and them from now on. Several bombings. Dude, imagine ponies bombing. So this is like the real world war. This is like the main war of the lore or some shit. I don't care about that, man. There's like a huge war here. Jesus Christ. See, it's 10 out of 10 in my books. Oh, I got so many guns. Okay, let's get to the next level with support artillery. 19 zombies. Here comes Sylvana's motherfucking wind runner, baby. Uh, five more. We can finally set our eyes on our true goal. To crusade against all life and the installation of what Rosa Maledicta calls true order. The time is finally arrived to call forth the Dark Crusade. Holy fuck, man. The problem with mods is always that the first two hours are fun and then it just becomes you kill everyone, you know. Just check pony power and province. You will see how it will be less and less pony power. Yeah, because I'm killing them all and turning them into zombies. Jesus. I thought this is like a cute little pony mod, man. After this, I will call out the Black Crusade. I'm getting, I'm getting bored. I want to kill. I am lusting for blood. The whole world shall know the one truth of death. The fall of Las Pegasus. They took Las Pegasus? Jesus Christ, man. The forces of good are losing. Oh, God. 
Oh, man, they're getting a lot of fucking army on me. I'm scared, actually. Holy crap. I don't feel so good about this. Red army shoulder. Okay, I declared one who? And, and, and almost everyone. Oh, God. No, they're actually taking me down. Oh, this is not good. I'm in trouble. I could maybe blitzkrieg this guy. I need to blitzkrieg this guy. Oh, this is bad, man. I'm in trouble. Oh, wait, they took my capital? Oh, no, oh, GG, I'm dead. They fucking naval raid in this game? If I could take him down quickly? Oh, they all joined. Dude, I'm against the whole world now, pretty much. As always, I, I always die in all these mods because I just have to handle too much. The Black Crusade ain't looking that good, huh? Ay, 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 boys. I don't feel so good. Yeah, that's just too much. What the fuck am I supposed to do, man? Oh, shit, boy. Yeah, the end, man, literally. That's too much. That's too heavy. Okay, full retreat, man. Full retreat. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe I can save this, which I don't think I can because the enemy has millions of dudes. Welcome to the Pony and Zeke, boys. Welcome to the Pony and Zeke. Everybody's just declaring war on me, man. Alter, what the fuck? So the way I handle this... Wait, wait, wait. I got this. I got this. I'm not giving up just yet, man. So get the boys home. I mean, the ponies, obviously. Okay, let's make a defensive ring here in a second. You guys defend here, while these guys defend here. Okay, Red Army. Oh, oh, oh! Red Army could actually maybe do something here. And let's circle all this trash. I'm not done yet here, man. The Vampire Lords are still upon us! Eh? I'm getting circled a lot, huh? I, I lost four divisions. I mean, the whole world is coming, man. Come on, stop. Oh, no, I'm losing the end? Come on, it's a river. What? It's not even close. Okay, I'm okay. I'm technologically too behind. They're taking me over a river and a fort, so that means I'm just done. Yeah, there's no way I'm done. That was fun, but come on. You suggest the player kills everything on his own? Yeah, my army's too noob. That just they're just right clicking me. I don't have elites, man. Yeah, it's over. I died. I died. I died. <laughs> That was fun, but yeah, the, the end was a bit hey, stupid. Tommy, be in love. I don't know. I think I'm done with this mod. You know, deep inside, I'm feeling a challenge. I feel I want to play. Here's what I'm feeling. Here's what my, my soul says. I want to play a single player game where a small nation has to overcome something hard to become big again. That's kind of what I want to do. Well, I think I'm done with the My Little Pony stuff. It's a good mod, but I don't fucking understand it at all. And we are playing Kranzamo. I've been looking for a minor nation, a small nation that's very hot and has a cool storyline. You guys said Serbia, Kranzamo. I decided Kranzamo, which so far has been amazing fun. We are this small nation here, a puppet of Japan. And we are Alexander Kolchak, who is a former Russian admiral who wants to take his home back. He wants to take Russia back.